Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have it covered for you right here. So, before we get into some NBA action for March 27th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which will help you make all your picks. So, let's take a look at some of the games here. Getting down close to the end of the regular season, so every game becomes more important, especially for those fighting for playoff positioning. So let's take a look at what we have here. The Knicks in Detroit. Golden State and Washington. We're not going to look at those first two games. We do want to look at Minnesota and Boston. Minnesota is in the seventh spot in the Western Conference, while Boston is fourth in the Eastern Conference. You see that Boston is burning hot at the moment, winners of four straight and five out of their last six. And Minnesota's average status, they are coming off of a loss, and they are four and two over their last six as well. If you take a look at the over-under as far as the trends have been concerned with both teams, Boston has been involved in games over the line in their last three and four out of their last six, while Minnesota has been involved in games over the line in two out of their last six. The power ranking indicator shows Minnesota at plus 25, while Boston is at plus 23. How stable have the two teams been? Are they performing consistently? With their favorite underdog status, they definitely are. Both teams are high here and on the upward trend. Minnesota at plus 30, while Boston is at plus 28. The score predictor has Boston by a 116 to 111 margin, with about 54% level of confidence in the prediction. I like Boston in this one. They are the better team, playing better at, at the moment, and they're at home. Go with Boston to win, but I would avoid the over-under bet in this one. Philadelphia and Phoenix. The 76ers enter third in the Eastern Conference, coming off of a big win against Miami. While Phoenix is top in the NBA, they are burning hot. And they have won their last five games and five out of their last six. While Philadelphia has won four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, Philadelphia has been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six while Phoenix has been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six. The score prediction has a 115-114 margin of win for Phoenix, very tight with 57% level of confidence. On the power ranking indicator, you see Philadelphia is at plus 21, and Phoenix is at plus 29. The consistency factor you can see here that Phoenix is the most stable team in the NBA at plus 43, meaning they are very consistent according to their favorite underdog status, and they are favored in most games. And Philadelphia is at plus 17. They have been kind of steady. They've been on an upward trend and kind of steady, very slightly upward as of late. So what, what do I think is going to happen here? I mean, Philadelphia has a, a strong team, but Phoenix is just too good, and particularly at home. I like Phoenix to come away with a win in this one. I think it will be a tight game. It could go into overtime perhaps. And I, but I do think it will be a high-scoring game. So go with Phoenix in a game going over the line. The Lakers and the Pelicans. Charlotte and Brooklyn. Both teams enter burning hot. You can see that Charlotte has won their last four, and Brooklyn has won five out of their last six. And they're battling here in the Eastern Conference. They could meet in the play-in round as they're eighth and ninth in the, the conference at the moment. As far as the over-under goes, you can see that both teams have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six games. The score prediction has Charlotte by a 118 to 109 margin with about 65% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Charlotte here is on an upward trend. They were at plus 10, and over the last two weeks, they have been climbing to plus 16. Brooklyn is at plus 17. They were at plus 19 uh, about a week ago. We want to see how stable the two teams have been. This is always kind of an important thing for me to look at. You can see that Brooklyn has been consistently performing according to the third underdog status, even more so than Charlotte, but even Charlotte has been moderately stable at plus 14. The way I see this, this is kind of a very tight game as far as uh, ability-wise goes, but Brooklyn's at home. I do give the edge to the home team in most cases, and I would do so in this one here. Go with the Nets to win in a game going over the line. The last game we want to look at for the weekend is Utah Jazz and the Dallas Mavericks. These are the fourth and fifth seeds in the Western Conference. The Jazz are average status at the moment, coming off of a loss, and they are 4-2 over the last six. 
While the Mavericks are average up, they broke a two-game losing streak with a 110-108 win against Minnesota. If you look at the uh, over-under, you can see that Utah has been playing in games over the line in three out of their last six, while the Dallas Mavericks have been over in only two out of their last six. The score prediction has this one as a tight contest, 110 to 108 in favor of Utah with 55% level of confidence. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, once that comes up, there we go. Utah is at plus 27, while Dallas was at plus 26, and they have dropped down to plus 19. This is really kind of a coin toss. The game could go either way. The teams are very evenly matched, but I will give the slight edge to the Mavericks, perhaps going into overtime. I would avoid the over-under, but it wouldn't be a bad uh, proposition if you would go with the Jazz in a rolled upset, because, again, this is a very tight contest and really could go either way. So there you have it. Those are the games for March 23rd in the NBA. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.